Hi friends, this is Amir Hussain and you are watching Trick I Know YouTube channel. Today I am doing an exciting video for gaming boys and girls. I am going to install this desktop graphic card in this laptop. It is possible to install this graphic card on your laptop? I am getting so many questions about how to upgrade laptop graphics and is there any way to install desktop graphic card in a laptop? And finally the answer is you can. Presenting you the EXP GDC version 8.0 external graphic card dock from banggood.com which allows you to connect your desktop graphic card to your laptop to play heavy games on it. You can order this item from the link in the video description. It's available for all countries including India. Here is our graphic card dock. It comes with HDMI, USB, DC in socket and a 8 pin power in socket with PCI Express 3.0 slot to connect graphic card on it. You will get HDMI to mini PCI cable with it and a power connector and a very useful thing an operating guide. You can install this eGPU dock in the different brands of your laptop. I am starting with my Dell Inspiron N4010 laptop and I have already installed two games here. Let me show you my system configuration. I have Intel Core i3 2.53 GHz processor with 4 GB RAM and a 64 bit Windows 7 Ultimate operating system. And the graphic property is Intel HD Graphics with 64 MB dedicated memory which is not enough for new games let's see what happening with my games it's rise of the tomb raider and here is the error the game requires a DirectX 11 compatible graphic card shit launching the far cry primal and here is the another shit now to install the external graphic card follow my step first connect your laptop to the internet and search the graphic card driver on web i have asus rogue series gtx 1060 graphic card and here is the official website just go to support and click on driver and tools select your operating system and download the driver from here I have already downloaded my driver now disconnect your internet and go to device manager and you have to uninstall the Wi-Fi driver don't forget to check this box delete driver and software now our wireless LAN is uninstalled now shut down your laptop and take out your HDMI to mini PCI cable First we have to connect this cable to our laptop by replacing the Wi-Fi LAN card. You will need a forehead screwdriver and a laptop opening pray tool. Going to find the mini PCI slot. First remove the battery out of your laptop. Now open the laptop's access door. Generally you will find the mini PCI slot right here but in this laptop it may be behind the keyboard so I am going to open the screws of this laptop opening my keyboard with the help of the pray tool you have to remove your keyboard cable also now here you can see I still not found my mini PCI slot so I have to open whole palm rest of my laptop opening the jumper connected to the motherboard now using the pray tool to remove palm rest from this laptop finally I got my mini PCI slot now you have to unplug these wires and also remove the Wi-Fi LAN card with the use of a screwdriver now plug your eGPU cable into this slot just like this 
Now tight it with a screw. I am going to unplug my DVD writer. To make a path for my eGPU cable. In your laptop it may be different. You have to find it yourself. After doing this, connect your keyboard and the laptop's battery. And here our laptop setup is done. Now it's time to set up our graphic card dock. You will need a SMPS of at least 650 watt if you are using a heavy graphic card. Now separate the 24 pin connector and the CPU connector from the SMPS. And connect the 24 pin connector like this. And like this connect the CPU connector. Now the power code is ready to use. For security purpose please use a UPS to avoid any type of interruption during the installation. Make sure that your SMPS and laptop's charger is connected to the UPS. The power setup will look like this. Now it's time to connect the graphic card dock. Just insert the 8 pin power cord here and connect the HDMI cable from the laptop right here. Now push the extra wires in the DVD writer area. The dock setup will look like this. Now it's time to connect our graphic card. Just insert the graphic card into the PCI Express slot. Now our setup is looking more awesome and more attractive. Some graphic card may be need some more power. Just take out a PCI wire from your SMPS and connect it with your graphic card. Now the time has come to on our laptop. The graphic card starts by itself. Now before starting the windows. First go to your BIOS setup because it's a Dell laptop. Go to the advanced tab and here you have to disable your integrated NIC. Other laptop have different rules. See the video description for more info. My integrated NIC is disabled. Now starting the laptop for the first time. And I am very excited to see the results. And here you can see the graphic card is detected by itself. It's trying to install the driver. Let me show you in device manager. It's installed as a standard VG adapter. Now I have to install my main driver which I have downloaded from the official website. Now my graphic card driver is installing. And here it's done. My graphic card name is showing in the device manager and it's need a restart. Restarting my laptop to apply the GPU driver changes. Here my laptop is started. And my driver is successfully installed. Now open your NVIDIA control panel. Go to configure surround physics. In the physics settings, select your graphic card as the default physics processor. Also check dedicate to physics and hit the apply button. Now go to manage 3D settings. In the preferred graphic processor, select high performance NVIDIA processor and hit the apply button again. Now the whole process is done and now I'm going to check my games, testing rise of the Tom Raider. Let me show you the settings. The graphic preset I am selecting high because, because I don't have powerful CPU. Now launching the game. 
and oh my goodness the game is running it's very hard to believe the game is running in my normal laptop with my GTX 1060 graphic card thank you so much banggood.com to sending me this item let's see the gameplay of the game the game is running very smooth and there is not any lagging the game is running fine in high settings I am going to test it in very high settings also here we done now the game is running a little bit slowly because of the old generation CPU but it is enough guys at least you are running big games on your laptop now going to play Far Cry Primal this game is also running without any errors now you can run big games like GTA 5, Batman Arkham Knight, Resident Evil 7, The Witcher 3 and many more games that is a lot for laptop users just order the exp gdc graphic card dock from the link given below and start playing games on your laptop for the better gaming experience use the big screen i have lg 24 inch ips display monitor just plug the hdmi cable in one of your graphic card port then right click on your desktop and select the screen resolution now in the multiple display just select show desktop only on second monitor and hit the apply button now my display is extended to full HD display now I can play games in 1080p resolution you can also use your wireless keyboard and mouse to enjoy the full desktop experience now it's time to do a final step hit the like button if you really enjoyed my video and please share my video on social media and with your friends so that was the exp gdc graphic card dock from banggood.com you can order this product from the link in the video description and if you have any questions please comment down below and please subscribe my youtube channel for more gaming and tech videos like this and thanks for watching trick i know youtube channel catch you in my next video